We are now trying to rob a very rich villager and are carefully watching him from the side. We need to wait for the moment when he leaves the house. Oh! Let's just sit tight. If he notices us, then nothing will work. Look, it seems he's leaving the house. Therefore, it is best to hide around the corner and watch carefully which way he goes. Huh? We are very lucky right now. Mikey, let's get inside the house and get the diamond blocks he put in the safe as soon as possible. Now we are going to get very rich and become one of the richest in this village. Because we have now found and taken the diamond blocks for ourselves. Oh no, look, there's a surveillance camera. <laughs> it turns out that we were filmed all this time. You can't stay here in any case, so the evil villagers will come running here and punish us for this. I don't want that to happen. We hide in our house and in no case leave it. This is the only way to escape. Uh-oh. Now, the villagers know that we are thieves. This is very bad. The good thing is that we managed to get home in time and now we can put all the jewelry in the chest. It was very difficult, but we still managed to get back. It's time to go to bed. Oh! Good! Just please hide all the diamonds in a secluded place and let's go to bed. There's a chest in the corner. I agree. We had a difficult day today. I would really like to get some sleep. I hope everything goes well and no one will wake us up. Sweet dreams, JJ. What's going on here anyway? I have a strange feeling about this. Mikey, wake up faster. Oh no, just look at it. Now our chest is not here and we are in space. At that moment, when Mikey and JJ were sleeping in their house, the villagers were angry that they had stolen diamond blocks and decided to severely punish the main characters. They put special rockets under the house and sent it into space. Now Mikey and JJ are in outer space among meteorites and a huge amount of space debris. It is very dangerous in space, and now our main characters are taking risks. Let's take a close look at what they will do next. <gasps> the villagers sent us into space. I still can't believe it. Mikey, please, let's not panic ahead of time right now. Let's run outside and find out what's really going on there. But I have to tell you right away that there is no oxygen in space. <laughs> Oxygen. It can't be! Can't we just walk around the house now and we can suffocate at any moment? This is very bad! I do not know what to do, and I am very upset. Let's run home instead. We need to breathe. Duh. Oh no! He fell unconscious because he ran out of oxygen. We need to try to urgently put him next to the bed so that he comes to his senses. The good thing is that I just managed to get into the house in time and take a breath of air. It was so good! As if something is wrong! We are in very big trouble right now because we are in space. I need to do something to breathe outside as quickly as possible, so I decided to make an oxygen mask for myself. It turns out I just can't breathe like that. I can't break a window in the house. I definitely need to close it with something. I'll take an unnecessary object now and put it in the window, and I'll take the glass away. Oh. I even had to break the window to put the glass on my head. We must not forget that oxygen is very important to us, and the house must be airtight. There is no oxygen in space. Now, I will carefully look around and understand where it is best for us to move. We definitely cannot stay here for a long time because we are taking a lot of risks. I see that we have nowhere to go because meteorites are flying everywhere and our territory around the house is limited. Uh oh While Mikey is unconscious, I'll try to figure out how we can get home. I'm definitely not going to stay in space. It's time to check how he feels there. I'll go up to the second floor and try to bring him back to consciousness. I hope that everything is fine with him now. It's very good that I noticed a diamond meteorite now. We need to tell Mikey about this urgently. I hope he's come to his senses now because I definitely can't do it without his help. Mikey, wake up. You can't stay here for long. I understand that you feel bad, but you have to go. <laughs> I'm not going to waste time on Mikey right now. And what is it? Is a meteorite really flying in our direction? This is very bad. I still can't believe it. It seems our house is in great danger. I need to get ready urgently, so I take the glass and run outside. Meteorites can crash into our house. Now I need to work very hard and in no case allow there to be destruction. Otherwise, we will all suffocate. I will try to make a little protection out of glass and there will be additional oxygen inside the house. I hope the meteorites won't smash everything I'm trying to build, so I need to be careful. Oh. 
They are very dangerous and fly right next to the house. As soon as they smash everything in their path, then I need to repair it right away. I still can't believe that all this is happening to us right now. Oh no, a huge meteorite crashed right into the house. I won't be able to restore it in any way because I won't have time. Ugh! I don't seem to have any other choice. In the meantime, I'll seal up the entrance to the second floor so that Mikey can breathe something and continue building the dome. I need to hurry very much right now. I have no other way out. If I don't do the protection in time, then the house will be completely destroyed and fall apart. Uh oh We really need oxygen right now. Without it, we can suffocate at any moment. And without glass and a special dome, nothing will work. The meteorite left too much damage and half of the house was blown up. Now all I need to do is work efficiently and look around carefully. Huh? It will take a lot of glass because the house is big and you will have to work to completely close it. I'm very worried right now that I won't be able to do everything in time. The good thing is that you can jump high in space and this speeds up my work, which I have to finish soon. I'm building a glass dome around the house. Hmm. The villagers will regret very much that they decided to do this. Because of them, we may now never return back and stay in space. This should not be allowed in any case. The most important thing is that I don't work alone. Otherwise, I won't be able to cope with these difficult tasks. I will definitely need Mikey in this job. <laughs> it's hard for me to imagine what a huge amount of glass I need to put all over the contour. If I make at least one mistake, the oxygen may run out at any moment, and then I won't save anyone. I also want to send the villagers so that they can fly away and feel what it's like to be in space. <laughs> They don't even understand what we're going through right now. Because of their revenge, now we can stay in space forever and never return home. If this really happens, then I will be very upset. Therefore, now we have to work very hard, use different materials and resources. It's a good thing that no meteorite is flying near us right now, otherwise it could all end badly. Small holes also need to be closed, but the most important thing is not to fall down, otherwise I will end up in outer space. I don't even want to check it. <laughs> I'm going to check the entire amount of glass again. I'll take other materials in order to remove the hole in the floor. It's very big and I'm afraid someone might fall through it. Oh no! Uh-oh. I fell down, but I still came home. Hmm. It's good that I'm home again. But the problem is that the dome over my house is broken and needs to be closed as soon as possible. So if I don't close it, all the air will escape and I won't have anything left to breathe. It is very good that I have with me a lot of glass and I will try as quickly as possible to close all my house with a dome because if I do not do it, I will really stay without air. Also, you can notice that I have a lot of meteorites on which there is and need for me a stone. Now, I will try to jump on one and get from there, I need a stone. Huh? Now, I'm mining the stone I need to scrap a pickaxe. You may have noticed that I jumped very high. Yes, it's true, because there is a very small, well, or rather, not much gravity as on Earth. And so, I jump very high, but it is certainly and is dangerous. That's why I try to be as careful as possible. Continuing to build the dome over the house. I still have a lot of work to do because it takes a long time to build a dome, and I am very much afraid that I will suffocate because I don't know where I will get the air I need. But for now, I have it, and I need to save it. So I am building the dome over the house as fast as possible. Oh. I have finally completed the dome over the house. But the problem is that there is very little oxygen and something needs to be done about it urgently. Oh, Mikey, you're here too. We need to figure out what to do about the oxygen cause it's getting scarce. Hmm, you have built a very nice dome on the house, but I have an idea how we can make it so that there is a lot of oxygen here. I have tree seedlings that we will now plant and grow and they will actually give us oxygen and we will be able to walk without air helmets. Yep. Now I am just starting to plant them all. I will plant them all over the plot so that there are many of them and they give respectively more oxygen because I think this is a very good idea. Ho <laughs> ho, the trees turned out to be a very good idea. 
Huh? Yes, I just wanted to ask you this. To make the trees grow very quickly, we need bone meal, which I will use to grow all the trees as quickly as possible. But after that, I think we need to go to other planets, but probably not planets. They're just meteorites. Look what's there. And it's good that you made a door that we can use to get out there. Hmm. I'm going to go around the house and use bone meal to try to grow trees. But I'm not very good at it so far. Because there's not much space, I have to spend a lot of bone meal to make the trees grow. Because without them, we can't do anything. Because they give us oxygen. And without oxygen, we can't live. Because all the oxygen from my dome. But right now where we are, it's all gone. Hmm. Of course, to grow, as I will repeat it, is not immediately possible, because in addition to the fact that there is very little space for the rapid growth of the tree, also growth is hindered by various blocks or flowers that are nearby. So I am now trying to remove them as much as possible to at least as some new trees grow, I need them to grow anyway, because if not, we have almost no oxygen. But I'm going to make the best effort I can to grow as many trees as possible. I spotted a big alien out there. Huh? Really, look. What a huge alien. And it's probably jumping towards us and will be on our doorstep soon. We need to get ready now. Ah! He's very close. I'm very much afraid of what we're going to do. And don't worry. We'll figure something out and we'll beat him anyway. Huh? In order for me to defeat him in any way, I need a weapon. But the maximum I can create a weapon is iron. So I now take from the stove iron and go looking for wood to craft a workbench and begin to craft a sword iron. Uh-oh. You can hear the distinctive sounds of breaking the glass I built. Apparently he's about to break the dome I built over the house, but I can't do anything to him yet because I haven't crafted the iron sword yet. Ugh! He's getting very close. I need to speed up and rush into the house and try to overpower him somehow. For now. To be honest, I don't have much idea how I will defeat him, but I will rely very much on myself and the fact that I have an iron sword. Hopefully, you will help me a lot to defeat him. It's a very big and scary alien. Hmm. Now I have an iron sword, and I can also see it, but so far it can't reach me, and I have to think of something. I have one option I need to climb up to the first floor and somehow try to hit it from there, and I will try to win. I really hope that I will get a moment when he does not pay attention to me, I will attack him first. Because if it really happens, I will be able to strike first and defeat him. I've spotted him. I need to attack him quickly and urgently so that I can defeat him. I hope I can do it. Ho <laughs> ho! This alien was defeated, and in this battle I won. It was very cool, and I'm surprised I made it. Huh? But we should not relax yet. Because as I said in the beginning, when he noticed us, he started to break the dome that I made, and thus we began to lose oxygen, which is already practically left little. But now I just hit him, and will hope that the oxygen will now be restored. Yep! I hope you defeated that alien! Ho <laughs> ho! I beat him, and we're good. But honestly, it would have been better if you had helped me, as opposed to hiding on the first floor. Because if you had helped me, we would have defeated him much faster. I defeated him with the help of the fact that I had time to craft an iron sword and thus defeated him. But I also do not worry, I have already fixed all the holes that he made in our dome. Cannot worry, oxygen will soon be restored. Hmm. I'll make you a stove and you go and see what we have. And I'll try to find more iron. But while you're doing that, I've got my eye on a meteorite that has a lot of diamonds that I think we need to mine. And they won't be superfluous. <gasps> Gotta get those diamonds that are out there. After all, they are in any case. We will all be useful. So I open the door and slowly come out and try to get to that meteorite. It will certainly not be easy because they are quite far away and will have to jump and from one meteorite to another, but nothing I can handle. And I will definitely succeed. Hmm. So far, it looks pretty hard, but it's okay. I'm sure I'll manage and get to this meteorite on which there are a lot of diamonds. Well, I'm not getting it all right the first time, but there's still a little bit left. Also, I'm very much helped by my big jumps. They, as I said, happens because of the fact that there is very little gravity. Ho <laughs> ho! Something I didn't realize and forgot that diamonds are only mined with an iron pickaxe. So I'm going back to my house now to make an iron pickaxe. Good thing I have iron. And then I'm going back towards the diamonds and try to get them all. 
Huh? Well, now I have an iron pickaxe with which I can easily extract all the diamonds that are on that meteorite. Now it remains only to get to it, and already there, I will start digging. Here I am, very close to this meteorite remains just a little bit, but it is good that I have blocks with the help of which I have built up, and with my high jump will fly to this meteorite. Wow, that's a lot of diamonds! Ho <laughs> ho! Of course I will try to mine as many of them as possible, and in principle, I think that they should be taken all of them, because diamonds are never superfluous. I am not in any case we will need them, because we somehow need to apologize to the inhabitants, after all, we will come back someday anyway. Well, I'm going back now, cause it's out of diamonds, and let's see what Mikey's up to. Ho <laughs> ho! Look how many diamonds I have! Woohoohoo! Wow, that's really cool! I got them from that meteorite I told you about. Come on, let's get some rest and watch TV! Hmm, yeah. All right, let's get some rest. Huh? Oh! Are we really on Earth? Wait, wait, wait. We want to apologize to Mikey for the actions, so hold you diamonds as an apology and we'll honestly behave no more. These diamonds are all yours. Ho <laughs> ho! I'm JJ and Mikey. What a wonderful adventure we had.